Hello everyone! In this video I want to show you the functionalities of the do-it-yourself Thermocam version 3. This is the screen that you see when the device is turned on. In the back of the device you see warm water. You can clearly see the spot temperature in the middle as well as the hottest point that is currently inside this tube of water. You can also see a temperature bar on the right side. When you touch the screen, you go to the main menu. Here you have a couple of options. Let's go through the different options. First is the option to add or remove temperature points. Click on this and now you see you can add multiple points, remove them or clear them all at once. Let's try this out. Let's say we want to measure the background temperature. We have added the point and we see it's still there. Let's change the screen color so that it's easier to read. We can switch between different text colors. For example, let's make it red so it's easier to read. Now we see we are measuring 25.88 degrees Celsius in the background. Let's go through the next option, which is temperature limits. You can choose between auto and manual and you can also lock the temperatures in the main live screen. Let's say we want to have a manual range. We can choose between up to four presents and we just say we want to have a new and now we can have a control over the different temperatures. So let's say we want to go from 25 to 40 so now our colors are distributed between this full range. Supply it, save it as a new preset, and now you see that this is applied. When we touch the screen long, we can switch between the different presets. We only have one, so this is how it is now. But we can go here and go back to auto. And for example, now we could, by pressing the screen long, just lock the limits in this range. And you see, even if I have my hand here, the temperatures, they won't change. Let's unlock it again. And now let's see hot cold. This is very nice, so you can identify high, hot and cold zones in the screen. Let's say we want to have hot and it should be green. So now we can say the limit and everything above this limit is green. So basically now we can turn our whole tube of water into green. And also you see this on the temperature bar. Let's disable it for now and let's take a photo. So let's say we are now happy with this photo and just press the button, the push button on the top ones. So it saves it to the internal SD storage. Here you see how much memory you have still free in the storage. There is also other information like time, date and um, the battery level. So let's say we want to view the images. You can just go through the different images here and it's a really nice way so that we can um, look what is inside our internal storage. We could also convert it to bitmap so this will create bitmaps out of our raw data. So here we could say yes and then the image is converted and we could delete it. We could find images by day um, and um, yeah. For example, here we only have one image, but let's say this is the first day, um, so now we have another image. Then this also would work for videos. So let's say we want to record a video, then we can press the button long and we can say we want normal. So this is as fast as it can. And now you see it creates frame after frame and saves it to the internal SD card. You can also convert the video to bitmap images so you can say you want to convert to go through all the images afterwards it's converted um, and if we go to the menu we can play this video so now we have it here and we can just I mean not, not a lot is happening right now but you see it's going through the different frames let's pause it again okay what else do we have um, we have settings so can do general settings like time date we can enable automated conversion for bitmaps 
Um, for the hardware, we can calibrate the battery and also very interesting, we can um, set between different ranges of leptin gains. Um, that means that now we are in the standard range that goes from minus 10 degree to plus 140 degrees Celsius, but um, the leptin can also go um, to higher temperatures, so we can go up to 450 degrees of Celsius. Um, after we change, it's performing a flat field correction, and here we are also able to format our internal storage. For the display, we can choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, we can rotate the display, so we could flip it horizontally if we want to mount it on a, a drone, for example. Um, we can say rotation. And let's say we want to have it disabled for now. And then we can also, let's go back again. Yeah, basically the control when the screen is turned off automatically. That's it for the settings. Then we have some um, temperature color ranges that we can choose from. This is standard, this rainbow. But you see we have a lot of different options. Um, so, for example, another one would be iron black, and you see that the temperatures have changed now. Also, the um, range on the side has changed now. Then, what else can we do? Um, we have different uh, options, so we could not only show the hottest point in the image, but also the coldest on the hottest. Um, we can disable different information here on the screen. We can show the spot in the middle. We can disable the bar, storage, and filtering. And last but not least, we can do a flat field correction in the menu, which doesn't work now because we are in manual mode, but let's just switch back to auto mode. Let's go here. Temperature limits is now auto and now we can actually do a flat field correction. So it's normalizing, it's removing noise from the image. And here you could also turn the screen off, for example, if you still want the device to be running um, and measuring, for example, in USB mode, but you don't want to consume additional energy, you can just turn the screen off. We are turning it on again. And that was it. That was a walkthrough through the DIY Thermocam. I hope you liked it and yeah.